WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 9 a.m. Eastern Time, Wednesday morning, 30 minutes to go until the opening bell. And quite a difference a day makes markets in positive territory right now. We have Dow futures up 116 points, trading 27,603. A little bit of renewed trade optimism, a report on Bloomberg that Chinese trade deal may be in the works, even if President Trump yesterday, a little bit of loose rhetoric, but don't be the judge of that. They're saying that the deal marches on. S&P futures positive by 12 points, trading back above 3,100, 3,103. NASDAQ futures positive by 40, trading at 82.91. Oil catching a bid up almost a dollar at 57.06. And we get the gold contract pulling back a bit. Gold basically flat right now. Had been higher, though, pre-market. Gold at 14.84. We'll start things off this morning. I have a chart of the S&P going back, and this is basically this week. Early Monday, we had a high. That's a record high, 31.58. You see the trade lower on Monday. You see the escalation yesterday, yesterday's low right after the opening bell of 3,069. So we trade about 90 points from high to low early Monday to Tuesday intraday. But since then, we're now up about 35. That's more than a solid percent from the lows at 3,104. And you see the pop we got last night on that new optimism of the Chinese trade deal as the S&P is trading higher this morning. Jumping over to some of the other charts, there's your Dow 30, and you can see the point when that story becomes public, about 4 a.m. Eastern time. And to jump over to the headline, there is the Bloomberg report. You see the time print, 4.06 a.m. Eastern time. U.S.-China moved closer to trade deal despite harsh rhetoric. So with that in mind, there's your Dow escalation. There's your NASDAQ 100, 82.97. S&P 500, as we covered, 31.04. Crude oil trading higher as well, $57.39. There's your gold contract. You see the inverse relationship with gold trading lower on that report. Was up to almost $14.90, trading $14.82. And we got some dollar weakness, euro strength, euro back above $111 at $111.06. In terms of what else we have happening, we get ADP payrolls this morning. $67,000. Estimate was worth $150. Pretty interesting as we have the jobs number non-farm payrolls coming out on friday morning we'll see how that plays out a little bit of weakness in that jobs market from adp stay tuned folks larry pesavento coming up live with trade what you see at nine o'clock i'll be back at 10 o'clock with tom live programming all day at tfnm we'll be right back